LA City Hall today to create more protections for street vendors. There are concerns that new proposals will lead to more citations. Community journalist Eric Resendiz reports. <laughs> Street vendors and advocates chanting in front of Los Angeles City Hall Tuesday morning rallying against what they say is a renewed criminalization of street vending in the city. <laughs> Organizers say two motions are making their way through the LA City Council, which would bring back criminal penalties for street vending and displace vendors from certain communities. We need change. We need change, and it needs to be a clear cut, not uh, make it where it's impossible for us when we are trying to cooperate with what's in place. Also, organizers say they believe Councilmember Paul Coretz was going to request for Melrose Avenue to become a no vending zone, linking a rise on crime to street vending, which they say is not the case. But the office of Councilmember Perret says there is no official request to ban street vending on the corridor. In a statement, the council member says, I want to be clear I am not opposed to street vendors. Now that I have called for strong LAPD and relevant enforcement agencies' presence on Melrose, I am confident everyone is feeling a lot safer being in the region. I admire your resilience, your tenacity, your spirit. Council member Curran Price was among some of the council people present at the rally advocating for vendors. Well, we're looking at the, all those restrictions very carefully. We were certainly um, uh, intentional of, 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 of uh, removing some of the criminal penalties for street vending. So we don't want to push them back uh, in another way. Price says LA County has obstacles for vendors to get their permits and needs to make it easier. For street vendors, they need to update the food codes. Um, they need to be more inclusive, uh, catch up to the times where street vending has evolved more.